Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome and I hope you stay. Um, so, um, I think you guys can tell when I don't have the greatest week because I really don't want to put a video out, okay? I just want to keep all the information to myself. But I have to be real. This is a journey. We're all going through it. And we're going to have great weeks. We're going to have not so great weeks. So this is my not so great week. Um, it's usually not so great with water. Um, but yeah. Well, I don't know. I think I'm being a little hard on myself. I think because I'm used to going to the gym a lot and that's what I consider a good workout. So when I exercise without going to the gym, it's hard for me to count it as exercise, like real true exercise, because I know how hard I can go. And um, even though I like walking the beach, it's therapeutic and I love to be out in the sun and you know, smelling earth and enjoying the view of people and animals and nature and everything else, I know that to me, I can't really, it's hard for me to consider it exercise because like I said, I really go hard in the gym. But looking at the numbers, I did do fairly well this week. Um, I did miss the weekend, Friday and Saturday, and I think because I did so much during the week, um, by Thursday, I was done. Like, I couldn't even go to my class. You guys know I do my Les Mills body pump on Thursday. I didn't want to do anything, but I said, I, I'm at least going to walk the beach because I told you guys about the guy I'm trying to beat in my Fitbit challenge. Okay, I did not beat him again this week, but I really gave it all I had. I, I mean, I was... On my breaks, I was walking. On my lunches, I was walking. <laughs> After work, I was walking. I was walking. And that's probably why by the time Thursday night hit, I was just like, okay. And then I knew, I knew Friday I wasn't going to win because he was already, Friday morning, he was already, I think, 30,000 steps. Yeah, he was 30,000 steps ahead of me. How, I don't know. And then I was just like, there's no way I'm going to get 30,000 steps in today and do more because he didn't sink. He, he synced his, um, his Fitbit Friday morning. So as I was checking it throughout the day, it was showing that he, he hadn't updated his Fitbit yet. So I knew it was the 30,000 that I was already behind plus whatever he did Friday. So I knew he was going to sink again on Friday night and then all his steps was going to be, you know, put on the challenge. And he did end up with almost again, a hundred thousand steps. I'm just like, I don't know what else to do. I <laughs> just, when I tell you guys, I walked, I walked. I mean, I was literally trying for 20,000 steps, which I probably could have. It would have been really close if I at least got the 20,000 a day. Um, cause that would have put me at a hundred thousand by the time Friday hit, but that's a lot. I mean, because I work from home, I don't, you know, I, I don't travel for my job and I don't work in an office where I'm having to get up and walk around and whatever. So, um, yeah, it's hard for me to get steps like that in. I mean, I was, like I said, I was going on my, I was walking on my breaks. I was walking on my lunches. I was walking after work. It was just, I mean walking while watching TV, like walking in in place. Like it was just, I mean, I was just doing it all. So Monday, um, I stayed at home, did some home exercises. I got 15,000 steps on Monday. Uh, Tuesday, I did 30 minutes of cardio hour on the treadmill, the body pump class. I got almost 20,000 on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, I didn't end up going to the gym and I wasn't feeling, I don't know, just wasn't feeling it. But I did end up at the end of the day, um, me and my friend, we walked the park a lot where I live and we did the jump rope and I got 13,000 steps on Wednesday. Thursday, I ended up just walking the beach, got 18,000, almost 19,000 steps Wednesday. I mean, Thursday, because like I said, I was walking during my lunch, walking during my break. 
just walking, 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 walking. My water was not so great this week at all. I think I hit the target on Tuesdays and Tuesday and Wednesday. The weekend I told y'all was a complete fail. Okay, I'm going to be honest, guys. I had fast food on the weekend. It was, I'm telling y'all, it wasn't a good week. I don't know what happened. That's why I was thinking it's not a good week. It has nothing to do with my exercise. It was because the weekend I was so busy in McDonald's and Wendy's. Oh my gosh. Okay, yes, I did it. I'm so sorry, guys. It was one of those weekends. I know I shouldn't have eaten it. I'm so close to the end of the month. And yeah, I don't even know what the heck happened. That's, I'm just going to be honest. That's what happened. It just hit me just now. It had nothing to do with my exercise. It was because I was eating fast food on the weekends. On the weekend, not weekends. It's not plural. We're not doing this every weekend. This weekend, I had fast food. I have to say it. Sometimes you just have to say stuff out loud, right? Get it out there. It's out there now. We're going to move on, right? This is a part of the journey. That's my confession. I'm moving on. Okay. Starting to feel a little better. Because you guys are my people. And I feel like if I, 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 I have to get up here and I have to be honest. And when I know I have to be honest because that's who I am, like it's part of the journey. People like real and I want to be real. I don't want to be those kind of people who feel like every day is a great day to work out. Okay. We know that it's great to work out. Just not feeling it every day. So I always like to keep it real. And in doing so, sometimes it makes me hesitate on making a video because I know I have to keep it real. <laughs> I have to tell you guys the truth. It was a rough weekend. Okay. We got over it. Let's be done with it. Okay. Water was not good this week. Fast food, low carb was not in effect this weekend. And I did pretty good with my exercising. I only missed Saturday, Friday and Saturday of my schedule. Keeping it a hundred. There you go. Full disclosure, guys. Being two words, vulnerable and transparent. My friend tells me that all the time. We got to be vulnerable and transparent. So here I am. Okay, so another topic for this week is the fact that I was going to, like, another reason why I like to wait to do my videos is because I like to be inspired. I don't like to just sit at this desk and throw stuff together. I like for inspiration to hit me, okay? So for this spread, I was kind of wondering what I should do. And I'm like, okay, I know it's Halloween. I already did a kajillion Halloween spreads in my other planners and I'm just like kind of over it. And I'm like, what could I do? And guys, I cannot believe that I was going to let this month go by without acknowledging the Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Hello. And it's fitness. Come on. So that is going to be the theme for my spread for this week. Um, it's going to be pink out of your mind. Okay. It's just pink everywhere. Pink. So... I had to do some digging, but, and I've been really trying to do some florals. Like it's really hitting me. Like I need to get some really good florals. So I think that's where it started. Like I was like looking through my florals and I was like, oh, these pink ones are cute. And then I thought about it. So I'm going to use in my fun florals, these flowers um, for my pink theme. And then, of course, I use my usual, I get a few stickers out of all of these. So the Fitness Wrong Wrong, Sweat Smile Repeat Fitness Accessory. This is the fitness sticker book that goes with that accessory, just the regular fitness. And the Healthy Hero Accessory. I really wish I could find the Healthy Hero sticker book. That's a unicorn. I'm really looking for that. And, um... The Recollections Fitness, because they had a lot of pink stickers in there that I wanted to use. So, that's the stack that I have. You guys know I already pulled my stickers, except for 
the flowers I haven't pulled yet. Oh, you know what I forgot about? My sidebar. Hmm. And I used the one from Wellness last week. And I may just go with it again this week. Since I forgot to look for some. And I think they're kind of light, so it might work. Yeah, I could use the light ones. Maybe these. this one and these two it's about as close as pink we're going to get and like I said I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of searching I just know those were in there from last week so we are going to roll with that okay so Um, oh, I gotta do my, gotta make my side labels. So let's talk about breast cancer just for a little bit. I'm not going to get all into it because it's a very touchy subject for me. Um, when I was younger, I did not live with my mom or my dad. Um, but... My mom knew this lady from the church she was going to who had adopted my older brother and her sister took me and my older sister in and I call, we called her our aunt and I think I was in high school Yes, I was in high school. And I walked in on her getting dressed. And her breasts were gone. And she just had the bandages. going across and I was shocked I didn't know what to think what to say and I just was like I'm sorry and I shut the door really quick so I went and told my cousin which is her real her granddaughter and I was telling her, like, what happened. And she was confused. And she was like, what are you talking about? And the only other time I, we had to deal with cancer was um, one of the men at church. Very athletic. He ran all the time. He had it. He was 34 when he died. And I remember going, we went to go visit him in hospice. And he looked like he was like 80 something. And I was devastated because I didn't understand. Like even at that age, like I just didn't, I don't know. So that was my only previous 
experience with cancer. And um, so I didn't know what was happening with my aunt. So, of course, after I seen her, she knew, of course, that I would share it with um, my cousins. So we had a little talk. She asked us to all come out in the living room and she told us that she had breast cancer and that she was doing better and she was fine and and of course we were devastated it was like what the heck but she was a strong when I tell you this woman was strong she was a strong woman and I never seen her cry when her sister passed I never seen we never seen her cry I've never seen this woman cry so she was fine she was doing good for a year or so and then I might have been the following winter or the winter after that she started falling a lot and we thought that was weird because we're like, she, like, why is she falling? Like, this is not normal. Something's up. Oh, I got to take that off on Monday. And we kept asking her to go to the doctor, go to the doctor. And she did not want to go. Strong. You guys know those kind of women who are just like, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. And... She finally and went because it was just getting out of hand. We were so worried she was there. she was really gonna hurt herself because it was snowing, and we're up state like up you know New England area, and it's like the winters here can be really really bad with the ice and stuff. And she finally decided. to go to get herself checked out and the news was not good they had found out that the cancer was back and had spread and it was in her bones and that's why actually in her hips and that's why she couldn't stand because she had no support and we were devastated. Of course, we were devastated. We didn't understand. We thought she was doing better. And so she ended up passing away. January. 16th of I want to say 96 because my son was super super young he had to have been like one and yeah, she was such a strong woman. She took care of us like we were her kids. And it was devastating. It was the first time someone super close to me had passed. But I think, well, I don't know. We don't know. But I, so, you know, you can't help but to wonder what would have happened if she would have got herself checked out sooner. But some people, they, I don't know if you want to say like they embrace the inevitable or whatever. I don't know, but um, yeah. 
but she was like she was she was a strong woman. But to have them be so strong and then see them become so weak is hard. Sometimes it's hard to watch. And I hate, I hate cancer. I hate it. And so this spread is for all of the warriors, the survivors, um... I salute them. I salute anybody who's had to deal with that awful disease. And I only pray that you get stronger every single day. Every single day. I'm going to put day off on my, on Monday, which is the day I'm filming. I'm filming this on Monday night because I did not go to the gym or anything today. I'm just, I don't know. I don't know if I'm in a super funk or what, but I'm hoping that putting this spread together will help me get out of it. I'm going to wait to do the top because I want to put I want to put um some flowers. Okay, so let's try to incorporate I like when I pull a lot of stickers so I have enough and I'm not like, oh no, I ran out. What am I going to do? But at the same time, I don't want to feel overwhelmed. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to try to do some layering here. That's why. And I got the two girls with pink tops. To show the warrior in us. Because we are warriors. I think this is going to be super cute. That's cute. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay. Now, how do I want to do this though? Do I want to put her here? Boom, and then do another. Let's layer another one. Should I use this one I already pulled? I think I want to do two on this one. Super cute. So sticky. It looks like the lane's almost right coming out of it, like train like a beast, and it's like, ooh. Okay, I hope that looks cute, guys. Cause I'm trying here, I'm trying to do this for my warriors. Okay, so let's use this one. You are stronger than you think. And let's get some more florals. This doesn't all fall on the floor. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Put 
like on this side. Place this one here. Trying to think what else I want to do. <laughs> We put more foils behind this one too. Okay, and then we're going to put her. out Put that on the end but then what I'm gonna do is take my exacto knife and come around the edges I have to clean up the rest of these. Or could I just leave those? I don't know. I'm trying to think if I need to clean up the edges of all of them or should I just leave it? I think I'm going to clean it up. One time I was doing a spray with some stickers of course and I pressed the exacto knife down so hard that I sliced right through the page and that's one of my things I used to always think about like don't cut straight through the page that would not be good and that time cut right through the page oh I'm trying not to do that this time Oh, 
Oh, and I was going to make the video earlier, but I had a lot to say. <laughs> and I felt it kicking in. I was going to do my video as soon as I got done working. And that latte was kicking in. I said, nope. I remember what happened the last time I did that. I was so shaky and my nerves was not good on that video at all. I don't even know how I got through it. That was hilarious. <laughs> so I said, no way. I'm going to have to wait till I calm down over this caffeine high before I start my video. Because that one was hilarious. Okay, how does this look? This one looks a little weird to me. It looked weird when I did it because it didn't seem like I should have just made it. How these are like off to the side. And these look like they're just going straight about the box. I don't know. Oh, and I wanted to use a big one and I know where to put it. I'm going to put one right here. It's going to be so cute. That one might be too big. This is going to be so cute. And I got to I got to fill out my um I haven't been filling out my my mini with my food log, but I have it in my Fitbit app. All I do is copy it over. The only days I didn't put in was this week and Thursday and Friday. So I'm going to take some time to update that too. I'm gonna put it over the exercise tab. It's all right. How nice. Wait, I think I want to put like a smaller one. getting very decorative with this fitness maybe this will keep me pumped for the week because I often when I'm at the gym or whenever I'm working out or exercising or whatever I often think about the people who can't who the people who wish that they could go to the gym and exercise or whatever and they can't do that I do it for those people because we don't we don't even know what a blessing it is to be able to get up and go as we please. We only understand that when we're not able to. And I I always think about those people who um, had the ability and lost it or never had the ability. Um, so I, even though sometimes it's hard and I don't want to be there a lot of times or... It's a push for me to go. When I'm there, I'm grateful. And I always dedicate in my mind, I dedicate my workouts to those. And that's why when I go and I'm in the gym, I give it everything I have. Because I think about, like I said, those people who wish they could be there and they can't, you know. So it's just something to be mindful of when you're working out. I know it gets hard. And it's a little tedious and there's a whole bunch of other things you could be doing. Um, but I think that will help motivate you and it will help get you in a better headspace to kill it when you're working out. To give it your all. You're just thinking about those who are not able. You know? Just saying. Because it's nothing that we've done. You know, it's by the grace of God that we are able 
to get up and go, like I said. And then I'm going to use this. The strong women lift each other up. I'm going to use this as my journaling sticker for Sunday. I, I Let me tell you something, guys. I actually love this spread. I love the pink. And I love all of my breast cancer warriors. And if you haven't got your mammogram done, I want you to go get that done. This is crooked. I don't know if I'm going to keep fussing with it, but... Okay, and you guys know I put my journal and sticker on Sunday to write in so I can give like a brief spiel about my week and how I felt like how I felt it went. So again, these are the books I use the fun florals, I use the pink flowers, I use some stickers from the recollections um fitness. I use some stickers from the Healthy Hero Accessory, um, Fitness, the last one from Happy Planner, and the accessory book that goes with that, Sweat, Smile, Repeat, and the Fitness Wrong Wrong. So I use a little bit of stickers from each of those books, just in case you guys would like to purchase those or you have them and want to use it and do your own breast cancer awareness red. I don't know why I didn't think to do this at the beginning of the month, but this is a great way to close out the month. I think it came out absolutely cute. That's my words for it. I mean, I love the pink. You cannot go wrong. I got my warrior girls. Look at them ready. I got them right here too. I have my pink flowers. I think this was really, really cute. I got my flowers on the side. Um, so yeah, today was my rest day. So I got the rest of the week until Sunday to go out and kill it because I have results on Sunday, okay? I have results, monthly results on Sunday. Where did October go and why did I pick this weekend or last weekend now to... I'm not even going to go there. I'm not going there. We already did that in the beginning of the video. I'm not doing it again. It's over. It's done. We done. We're done. We're done. Okay. That's it. So this is my spread for October 26th through November 1st. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope that you guys are encouraged. I want you guys to stay healthy, be healthy, and kick butt this week and I am giving a shout out to all of my breast cancer survivors and warriors. God bless you. I pray for your strength every single day and I thank you for your strength. I thank you for your your strength and your empowering way that you just get through things and even when it's hard you just press on and you stay positive and you're full of love and light and I appreciate you and your family definitely appreciates your fight and it's it's just it's just nothing that can be compared to that I don't think so um everybody have a great week if you like this video, please make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, please make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have, please make sure you hit the bell for notifications of when new videos are going to come out. So with that being said, everybody enjoy your week. And I will be back to do my monthly report. <laughs> I hope you guys are praying for me. Okay. That's it. Again, I'm not going to talk about it. You guys have a great week and I will talk to you later. Bye.